What up, guys? Your boy Carlos, and we're back with another one. I just want to quickly go over a, a late game farm that I do from time to time. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, I just want to go over what I've been able to get. So every time you do this, you get uh, times four sparks. So that's really nice to have. You always get feathers from doing this. You get three different sets, which is the Monarch set, the Spellbinder set, and the Hawk set. It's really, really good. Of course, you're going to constantly get weapons from this. You're going to get spells. You're going to get uh, meat, which it gives you a plus four constitution, which I think is awesome. You get every type of grenade by doing this. Sometimes you get revitalizing potions that really I only have one. I already have three just by doing this. These are much more rare. And of course, you can break everything down uh, for money. So you're constantly getting money out of this. The only thing you're not really getting are these arrows. Sometimes I get arrows, but it's nothing crazy. I feel like most people are going to be going for the sets and they're going to be going for the uh, feathers and the sparks. The feathers are kind of annoying to get your hands on. So this is actually a really nice farm for that. So starting off, we are up in the east. I'll show you exactly where we're at. I'm pretty sure just by watching, you know where we're at. But this is always going to be either uh, armor set or weapon, any type of weapon. Uh, and then those three sets. This is always going to be grenades or spells. And then you're going to fly over here. And this is where we're going to get four sparks, bone, meat. And then on the back is the feather. As you can see, we got the feather. And you fly over here before leaving or resetting to the bottom of the tower. Break this open with an axe. And you either get grenades or spells. What you're going to do is return to menu. Go back in. And you're going to rinse and repeat. Now, I do have a flame altar at the top of this tower. You don't need a flame altar at the top of the tower. You can literally put the flame altar anywhere on the back side here. I'm just going to show you one more time. But I have it on top of the tower just so it makes this run a little bit easier. Once again, we got a weapon that time. That's good. All weapons are level 25. Uh, there should be. Uh, they're either 23 or 25. Because I've done this before and I've gotten 23s. I have to check and make sure real quick. Let me just make this run. Because I don't want to lie to you guys. I want to be as truthful as possible. Break this down. And more grenades. Let's actually look at the weapons. I'm pretty sure they're 25. Yeah, these are all 25. Now, this could be because I am a level 25. Uh, when I was doing this uh, around like level 22 or something like that, I think I was getting 23s. Uh, oh, maybe it's the armor that is 23s. Okay, so the level, the weapons are always 25, and then the armor is 23. I remember something being 23. Now, you're probably wondering how the best to get here. Let me just show you. Now, most of my videos so far have been me just lingering over here, and I'm pretty sure the next video will be me lingering in the late game area. This is home. Uh, like I said in my last video, I've come up through here, shot across up through here to finally get to the ancient spire. And then I glided down through here, shot across through here, came up through here, went through here. Uh, this is where I have the cave. This is where iron, sulfur, and lapis are. Also, ancient bone sets right in there. Uh, I'm gonna just going to spawn back up here. I'm going to fly down to the beginning of this area so you can see what it looks like. And then I'm going to show you how to get to the top of the tower if that's what you want to do. So you can see it's a long stretch. Uh, this city also, this city is very dangerous. There are a lot of very, very dangerous enemies here. I would, uh, I would play it smart if you come here. So when you come, uh, this is what's going to look like in the front. What I'm going to tell you to do is to shoot around the side. <clears throat> Obviously, you're going to want to have a uh, double jump. Uh, double jump is huge. If you have a character right now and you don't have double jump on it, I don't know what you're doing. Anytime that I play a game that has double jump in it, that is like one of the first things I buy because you can skip so much of the, the stuff or whatever just by having double jump alone. Uh, the mobility and the traversal is huge with double jump. Okay, let's not mess with the bomb beetle. Those things are very annoying. Bomb beetles need to be... There's certain uh, enemies in this game that I feel like they need to take a look at. Uh, dragons being one of them. The green berserker guys being another one. And then bomb beetles, they're not bad. Uh, but their hitbox is a little too big for what you visually see. So we're going to go into the tower right now. If you want, like I said, there's the, the spark over there. You don't have to uh, go up the tower if you want. I'm just going to show you again the tower. Now, originally, you're going to jump across this, and you're going to use a lockpick. We do not have a lockpick. So I'm going to go back down the stairs. I'm going to go out this way, and we're going to shoot up this, and then back this way. Double jump so we don't have to climb. Double jump again so we don't have to climb. <laughs> Go in through this broken piece right here. Now, there should be another chest down here at the bottom. As you can see right there, it is. And then you can just go all the way up here. 
And if you want, you can put your flame altar up here like I did. There is a golden chest at the top. It's already open and you don't get it anymore. And what I got out of the golden chest was this weapon right here. So if you're doing like a two-handed uh, blunt build, that's a really solid weapon. Uh, it's okay. I, I'm probably going to mess with my build a little bit more. I don't feel like uh, two-handers are that great in this game. Anyways, guys, uh, that pretty much sums it up. I just wanted to share this with you all. It's a nice little farm. Uh, like I said, you can get an infinite amount of all the really cool stuff if you want. Uh, it's up to you guys if you want to do it. But anyways, you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the future. Later, guys. Bye.